Hi everyone, we are here on Blocktober day number 11. It's Sunday, October, yeah, Sunday, October 11th. It's already late to mid-afternoon. I was up too early this morning. I just woke up about six. Um, I hadn't got to bed until late the night before. Up way too early. I'm tired. <laughs> So I was up way too early. We were off at church this morning. Got that done. It was a nice, nice morning at church. Went out for lunch with a friend of ours from church. And then after that, we came home, sat and did some relaxing. I spent some time getting my husband's, um, the church. Sorry, I just broke my broke my fingernail so I'm just fiddling with that right now. <laughs> um, anyway, I got my husband's, the, the church service edited onto, uh, got the processing done or the export from the editing program onto my computer and then now it's it's slowly uploading onto YouTube. So that's done. Now i am just spent a little bit of time catching up on a few emails from students. I still have a couple more I have to have to get under control. Students get all panicky. They, they typically have assignments every week and the material for each week is opened up on the learning management system like the online um, course management system it's set and ready for them to go each week at midnight Sunday night so anytime Monday morning it's available for them to to get into and start working on and typically any assignments they have are due the following Sunday at 11 59 p.m. so at the end of the day Sunday so I typically get Saturday night and Sunday all morning panicky emails from students who are having trouble with part of an assignment. So it gets left to the last minute and then there's an expectation that I'm going to respond instantly to, to their emails. Uh, I'm typically not home. So I'm putting out a few little student fires right now so that... Um, they can get their assignments finished up and turned in by the end of the day. What else? I think I'm going to try to spend a little bit of time in a few minutes going over, um, not going over, adding a few more napkins into my napkin art book and I'll, I'll show you how I'm working on that. I also, oh, and I got a little random act of kindness package in the mail couple days ago I think it came on Thursday yeah I think it came on Thursday so I want to videotape that and give you guys a quick look and see it what I got in that so it's just this is a small little package but it was really really nice so something fun to get in the mail and then I think the hubby and I will figure out something for supper no idea what he's having a nap right now so he probably won't be up for another probably almost an hour so once he's up and awake enough we'll figure out something for supper and then probably watch a movie tonight I'll get some knitting done I've got a little bit of work done on my um, slip stravaganza mystery shawl uh, the Stephen West pattern that came out on Friday morning this past Friday morning so I want to spend a little bit more time working on that this evening and maybe a little bit of time on my my socks. I might switch over this evening after supper time and work on the socks because that's kind of mindless knitting. Whereas the the um, the shawl pattern requires a little bit more brain power, <laughs> so it's uh, a little bit more involved pattern. It's not it's not complicated, but I'm tired, so that's usually not a not a good a good combination so I think I'm gonna get onto those other two emails get those 
students relaxed and settle down, um, figure out what they what they were having problems with on their assignments and then I'm going to get going and spend some time in my my napkin art book that sounds like a fun thing to do this afternoon alrighty so I'll let you guys go I'll be back in a little bit and we'll show you what kind of crafty stuff I'm getting up to later today see you in a bit bye hey everyone so I wanted to show you a little I don't know, called it unboxing. This is something from the Junk Journal, ju Junk Journal Junkies, etc. group. And it's a little random act of kindness I got on Thursday. It's from the Dynamic Die Cutters. So this came in the mail just yesterday. And I just kind of want to do a little bit of a, a look through. I've opened it already and looked through everything. But I just want to spend a little bit of time and I want to show you all the fun things that are in here. So, this cute little tag with a little little pocket in here. And then there's these two pieces that that were together but a little frame and a little note card or journaling card so those are really cute I got some guy revving his stupid car engine out front this cute little okay you can see it a little better now with the white background cute little die cut mailbox you can see little cuts in that that's cute little Halloween hat <laughs> two cute little ghosts and it's on a little bit I don't know if it's showing up it's it's not plain white paper on the front it's a little bit metallic-y looking <laughs> a little bat I'm gonna have to do a little bit of Halloween decorations in some of my books little fancy butterfly die cut that's really cute and a teeny tiny little envelope A teeny tiny little postcard. Guess that was upside down. That that's the better way to show it. It's just teeny tiny. It's so cute. And two. Two key die cuts. One is like a shiny gold, and the other is a matte gold. So there we go. I don't know who sent it, but like I said it came from Junk Journal Junkies, etc. The Dynamic Die Cutters. It's a little adorable little uh, random act of kindness. I really appreciate this. It was a lot of fun. It came in the mail on Thursday. I didn't have a chance to, I didn't get the mail until early evening on Thursday. I didn't have a chance to videotape anything about it Thursday or Friday or Saturday. So I am a few days late in doing a videotape of it, but I just thought that was really sweet and I really appreciate it. And this stuff will get some good use in my different junk journals and other journaling. So thanks to whoever sent me this. I'm going to post this video on the Facebook group 
and let them know that this came in. I'll get a picture of everything and post that as well. So thank you for whoever sent this to me. I really appreciate it. I love it. And I'm excited to start using it in some of my journals. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. That's it for this part. I'll get a couple more things puttered around with and done. And I'll be back and chat with you a little bit more before I hit the hay for the night.